I feel that the personal touch comes in many ways. And, you know, as where for me, I see the, the technology is enhancing and amplifying. I don't think we should look at it as replacing. If we, you know, we're humans, we have our five senses, we want to use our five senses. And it's coming up with that balance where if we're looking at the front end silo, because we're talking about personal touch right now, and if we're looking at the front end silo, how do we use and implement these technologies without losing that emotional connection with the customer? Well, I love that you brought up storytelling. That's one aspect. So spend time as a, as a stakeholder, if you're listening to this, invest in storytelling. Find those creators, those authentic writers or storytellers. Bring them onto your team. Have them work with your designers. Have them work with your, your agencies that you're bringing on, your technical, your technical agencies or your brand agencies. And because if the consumer is pulled into the story, you got them. They're not going anywhere. Now, as it relates to touch, your technology can bring touch more efficiently to your audience as well. So let's just look at, I like, I'm just going to say red, and, and I love texture. So what if I, as an innovator, created a tool where I can use AI to identify what are the colors my audience likes most? And what if I could deliver swatches to them every quarter that they can say, oh, I love this swatch. They can go to the app, scan it, or tap the swatch they like, and then the next collection includes what they want in that collection. So there's not an automatic you lose touch because you're using tech. It's you're solving a problem while not cutting off that emotional connection to your customer. So understanding your customer and what they want is super, super important. And if they're scared of technology, you definitely don't want to go out and say, hey, guess what, guys? We're using AI. Woo! You know, that's not what you're going to do. <laughs> you know, so you're going to deliver a better experience with AI in the background if it helps you do that. You're going to deliver a better experience with digital assets powered by blockchain, which you don't have to have them powered by blockchain, which most people don't know, but if it's going to deliver a better experience and the customer doesn't need to know about the tech, you know, when we go on Google and type in, we don't care how it works. We had no clue. Well, most people had no clue it was powered by AI. They're just like, oh, I put in some words and it gives me responses back, you know? And so they don't care how it works. They just want that experience and they want it to be flawless. They want it to be good. And so again, it's like going back to just basic human principles. How do you create a product that's going to engage and pull them in emotionally without alienating them. And then understanding the customer's positioning, understanding how the tool is used, you can find that balance. But it doesn't mean, one doesn't mean the other. And I do think that's an important thing to say because, for example, there's cashier, cash, cashierless supermarkets that are being rolled out. And when you tell someone, guess what? When you walk into that store, there's going to be 500 cameras on you watching your every move. And there's going to be data collected. They're scanning your eyeballs. They're watching how much time you're spending in front of the product. And, oh, and all of this is so you can check out faster. Okay, bye. Have fun. That's terrifying. Like, who wants Creepy. any of that? <laughs> who wants any of that to check out faster? I'm just saying, right? And so I think that the engineers, they're, they're creating these innovations because they're excited and it's making things faster and this and that. But if you miss the boat, like at the end of the day, it's still the customer that has to use these tools for it to be put into scale. Look at, you know, we're seeing what's happening with 3D environments. They weren't adopted as quickly as some big companies putting billions of dollars. We're not going to name any names. It wasn't adopted as quickly as they were hoping because they missed the boat on understanding the customer. Why should they care? You know, and if you're pushing the tech down their throat, they push back. So it's just understanding human behavior and then really navigating that, that this new path very gently in a way where they don't feel afraid and you're not taking away what, what makes them human from them.